Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the One True King. We're glad you have joined us. Let us pray. Holy Father, I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you pull out your spirit on this Bible study. May you be glorified. May your will be established. And may the kingdom of heaven continue to grow. May this Bible study keep on thriving. And may more people click subscribe on the YouTube channel and join the Facebook group. Thank you, Jesus, for all you have done. Fill me up with your Holy Spirit. Touch hearts for everyone who watches this now and in the future. In Jesus' name. Today's lesson is called Refreshing Words. Your season of harvest is coming. If you have your Bible, turn to Isaiah 53, verse 4. Isaiah 53 verse 4 says, Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we consider him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. Is your heart broken? Breathe in the refreshing words of Jesus. Bound in thy word. He will give his followers peace. Turn your pain over to the pain taker named Jesus. An unknown author says she did her best and God did the rest. Turn to Philippians 1, 27 to 28. Philippians 1, 27 through 28 says, Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, contending as one man for the faith of the gospel, without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved, and that by God. Is the deceiver telling you that you're not good enough? It's a lie. Rebuke the father of lies. Forgive me if I mispronounce this next word, especially since I don't speak Spanish. Escúchame. Spanish for listen to me. Christ made everyone in his image. Romans 16.20 Turn over to that, please.
The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Place your stress at the feet of Jesus. Luke 21, 19 says, Stand firm and you will win life. Are you using your tools or God's? He appointed you for his divine purpose. If Jesus would have wanted someone else to do his will, he would have picked them, but he didn't. The Lord selected you for his ultimate agenda. He's the only one who knows exactly what it consists of. If you are searching right now, as to what your Heavenly Father's plan is. I have an answer for you. Ask Him. He's waiting for you and will respond to your question or questions. Job 29.15 says, I was eyes to the blind and feet to the lame. That voice resonates with me. Because I have, I am nearsighted, which means I have trouble seeing distance. I also have cerebral palsy, which means I have trouble walking. Our God will never fail his children. Every step we take, he is alongside. The Lord made us to love people. Matthew. 1226 says, If Satan drives out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then can his kingdom stand? J.C. Weil says, Fear not, because your prayer is stammering, your words feeble, and your language poor. Jesus can understand you. You are a champion. With Christ inside your heart, his joy runs deep through everyone. John 19.28 says, Later, knowing that everything had been finished so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. And if you go to verse 29, it says, A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked the sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the high sock plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. Verse 30. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Jesus knows when we sit and rise. There is nothing you can't overcome. The King of Kings is cheering you on. It isn't over yet until he says it is. We can depend on the Lion of Judah. Psalm 24 says, 20 verse 4 says, May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Wesley L. Duell says, Prayer is the most tra excuse me, prayer is the master strategy that God gives for the defeat of Satan. Have you submitted every plan 
and dream for your life over to our Savior. He's longing for everyone to say, I desire thy will over my own. Jesus has a future promised for us far greater than our imagination. He will unveil it by his ultimate timeline. Ecclesiastes 3.11 says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has set, he has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Remember, it's out of our hands. God sits on the heavenly throne. Go, oh, excuse me, obey him. Your reward from the Lord will be worth the wait. Jeremiah 5.24 says, They do not say to themselves, Let us fear the Lord our God, who gives the autumn and spring rains and season, who assures us of the regular weeks of harvest. Are you planting a few seeds or being generous with your resources? The master is longing to fertilize a plentiful harvest this season. Luke 10, 2 says, He told them, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Is your treasure in heaven or on earth? God created us to not only be hearers of his word, but doers. If you do not water the seeds of the Holy Spirit, they are unable to grow. Reading scripture matures our faith. We must allow Jesus to mold us into his disciples. He will help everyone flourish for his glory. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus was nailed to the cross by our sins. It was our sins that drove the nails in his hands. The thought of that makes me hot because he experienced such physical agony for us. Our Heavenly Father doesn't vow that our lives will be smooth sailing. I'm paraphrasing, but Scripture says, in this world you will have many troubles, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Paul explains that we as believers should stand up for our faith. Followers of Christ should serve the kingdom throughout the time we have here on earth. You saw in Philippians, it said, and I'll read it again. Whatever happens, conduct yourself. Philippians 1, 27 to 28. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then when I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit striving together as one for the faith of the gospel without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved and that by God. Romans 16, 20. 
The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. That verse is talking about false teachers. Here's what they do. They trust scripture. For their own use, God will cast them out from heaven. He says that in his word. Are you seeking the refreshing words of Jesus to others? Your season of harvest will arrive at God's appointed time. Maybe you've been praying a certain prayer for many years. Rest assured, the God of time who created time and everything in the world. His promise will unfold his um, his word will come true. His vow will arrive in due time. If God made you an oath, rest assured that it will come to you. Thank you for taking time out of your Tuesday morning each week to join us. I pray that you are blessed by these lessons, that they seek to hearts and lives are changed, not by my words, but by the words of the Holy Spirit. I am just Christ's vessel, who he uses as his selfless servant. These aren't my words that I am seeking. These are the words that Christ has given me to go out and pray the gospel throughout the world. I pray that this Bible study is um, watched in homes all across the globe that people will tune in on YouTube and Facebook and that their life will be changed for his glory. I pray that you will want to go out and tell others about the good news of our Savior named Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for meeting here with us today like you do every week. I am so grateful for how you are using a servant like myself to go out and spread your gospel through the use of technology. You have done more than I could have ever dreamed. May this coffee with the one true king continue to grow each week. May more people tune in. May hearts be changed. May souls be saved. May lives be touched for the kingdom of heaven. May your will be done. If anyone here was unsaved, I ask you to save their souls this week. Even today. If you want to be saved, pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I admit that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I want to know you as Lord. I believe in my heart that Jesus is Lord and that he died on the cross and he rose from the dead 
and is seated at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus is Lord. Make your home in me. Forgive me of all my sins. I repent. I want to walk on the path of righteousness and get off the unrighteous path. For those in need of repentance, pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I have backslid and I want to get back on the right track. Please help me to get off this unrighteous path and onto the unrighteous one. Come into my heart again. I will dedicate my life to you. Be the Lord of my life. I give you my heart. Make your home inside of me. Forgive me of all my sins. I repent. I want to live a holy life. I believe in my heart that Jesus is Lord and that he died on the cross and rose from the dead. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. And I believe that he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father in heaven. For both of these prayers, in Jesus' name, amen. If you just prayed either one of the, those prayers, find a local church near you. Tell the pastors there that you just got saved or that you just rededicated your life to Christ. They will have classes and resources and Bibles available to you. And they will be able to continue to lead you in your walk with Christ. I pray that you have a beautiful, glorious day. May you have a blessed week. Come back and join us next Tuesday at 9 a.m. Um, on Facebook Live or this video will be published by Actual on YouTube channel here. Invite your friends, invite your family to subscribe to the YouTube channel and join the Facebook group, Coffee with the One True King. If you ever need prayer about anything, head on over to Jesus our Intercessor and we will gladly pray with you about anything. That group is also on Facebook. May you go out and spread the gospel to someone today. Thank you. Stay safe.